Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I thought it would be interesting to see the five different sizes of light pads that you can use with your diamond painting. I didn't realize there were five total. I didn't know about this little baby one. <laughs> Now, if you're not familiar with the sizes, you would think A1 would be the smallest and go up to A5 being the biggest, right? The bigger the number, the bigger the size. Well, it's the, actually the exact opposite. A5 is the littlest. A1 is the hugest, and I do not have an A1, but I do have a printout here with the dimensions, so you can kind of get an idea of how big it is. <laughs> So, let's start off with the little baby one. Okay. So, let's move those up there. So, like I said, I didn't even know there was such a thing as an A5 light pad. Now, I'm not going to turn on any of these. I just kind of wanted to go um, and show you the different sizes of the light pads themselves. Now I do have a tape measure here. So this little bitty A5, let's see, I should get a piece of paper and jot this down because then I could put it in the description. Okay, so an A5, sorry for my head, is well, let's say it's about nine and a half by six. Let's actually go by the lit area. So it's yeah, a little over eight. Let's say eight and a quarter by six. So we have eight twenty-five by Six. Now these are going to be in inches. And then we have the A4, which is the most commonly used light pad. And those that are, you know, that do larger diamond paintings, I know many of you are getting into the A3 light pads. Okay. So, like I said, this is your little bitty itty bitty baby one. I'll link all of these down below in the description. Um, this is real nice if you just want to test out a light pad, see if you think you're really going to need one for diamond painting, or maybe you're just doing something really small and you don't need anything any bigger than this. Another situation where you might want just a small one is if Let's say the vast majority of the diamond painting, you don't even need a light pad, but maybe you're having a harder time in a dark area of your diamond painting and having a light pad back behind that certain section would maybe help. Then maybe just a little baby one like this would work. It's very inexpensive. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this. Um, but yeah, again, I'll link it down below. So, there you have an A5. Okay, next is the A4. And like I said, this is the most common size that diamond painters use. Works real good um, whether you're doing a large diamond painting or a smaller one like a 30 by 40, 30 by... I use this for my 30 by 30s all the time. Um, this one is by Elise, and again, I will link this down below. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck this purple thing is up here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but the light pads that have the buttons on the side, don't you have a tendency to accidentally hit that thing and your light pad goes off all the time? Yeah, well, this company came out with these covers. And so I had, uh, uh, I have a number of them. Matter of fact, um, I just placed an order. You can get them in sets of three or just singly. So I got a set of three pink and a set of three purple ones, <laughs> of course. Um, and you can opt to get them with, there's a diamond 
emblem on it or these are just plain. Matter of fact, let's go ahead, let's take a pink. Now this one I put on so that you had to flip it up this way. I find that more cumbersome than if I would flip it down. Um, so I'm, even though it's going to look like the diamond's upside down, because I'm going to put it on this way. And all you do, you peel off the sticky backing and you stick it down. Yeah, that, that's all you do. And I'm not going to be able to get this off, am I? Of course not. Okay, well, anyhow, can't do it with these nails. Okay, so I'll do it off camera. But yeah, that's all you do is you take the sticky back off. And whether you want to do it this way, so you can flip this down, or do it this way, and then you flip it up. It does keep you from hitting that button. So I will link this website down below. They have a number of other things on there too that you might find useful. So hopefully I'll remember the link. <laughs> All right. So that's what that little gadget is. Um, again, the A4, let's go ahead and measure these. Now, you may have heard, you know, the sizes of paper that you can put in your printer. You can pick in your, your printer preferences whether you want, say you want to print on a 3x5 card. You may also see like size A4 paper. Um, that's kind of the same scenario sort of as what these light pads are. So again, let's take the lit area. We have 12 inches by about nine and a half, not exact, but around there. So we will say 12 by 9.5. Okay, again, I think most common size. I used just this size for quite a while before my boyfriend bought me an A3. Now, this happens to be one that was sent to me for review, and I love it. It doesn't have the shiny surface, as you can see. It has kind of a textured surface, so it doesn't glare so much. But the thing that I love, you'll notice there is no button on this one. And that's because the cord plugs into here, and there's a switch on the cord itself. So I love that. I am working on my great big five panel um, set of diamond paintings. They're all 40 centimeters wide. And then two of them are 60 centimeters tall, two are 80 and one is 100. I can do them in my lap on this light pad. So works out great. I just roll the canvas up, pull it up as I am doing it. So let's measure what an A3 is. Again, should we just take the lit area? We have about 16 and a half by about, mm, about 11 and three quarters. Again, not exact, but so you can see we're starting to get quite a bit bigger. More people, I think, are starting to get into the A3 size, especially um, if you are doing larger diamond paintings, which, you know, I do do. <laughs> so I am so fortunate. I, my most recent purchase, and I have not even used it yet. I was waiting to do this review is this big baby. This is an A2, <laughs> and it is very similar to that, that A3 that I really like. It has the matte finish, so it's not real glary, and it also does not have, it has the plug-in like the other one. I think I have, pardon my arm, I think I have it up 
here, as a matter of fact. Yeah, the plug-in is like this, and then it plugs into here, so it doesn't plug in directly to the light pad. Now, however, you, you do see your switch is still up here. Let me pull it down so you can see it a little bit better. Your on-off is up here, but I think the way this is showing is your brightness is up and down here. Like I said, I have not used this yet, so that's why I did not put one of those covers on here yet, because that would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? <laughs> Although I always put mine on the brightest, anyhow, and this is going to be going upstairs on my drafting table, so I won't be using it, you know, downstairs um, in my chair. So I guess I'm going to have to play with that and see if I actually... You know, if I end up have you know hitting that and, and turning it off, I know when I had my A3 up on my drafting table, I did accidentally hit that button a lot and turn it off. And of course, the canvas is covering it up by that time, so then you got to go under your canvas. You know what I mean, right? So I'm not sure if that's going to be the same situation with this one or not. And if it is, if it's going to pay for me to put one of those covers on here or not. Either that or I could make up something of my own where it would be longer maybe and stick it up here. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it. But so this is the A2 and yes we are getting pretty big now aren't we? I am so excited to try this one out. This one is Let's see. The lit area is about 23 and a half. So you can see we're really going up in size here. 23 and a half by about 17. Okay, so that's getting pretty darn big, isn't it? Well, they do have one larger than this and <laughs> this is going to be plenty big for me I you know would it be nice to have an A1 oh yeah but yeah that would be overkill I think even for me who does do very large canvases it it kind of uh yeah plus they're very expensive they're a good couple hundred dollars so this is the one that I did see on Amazon. Let me zoom you down a little bit. Um, and it is 200 and boy, I can't remember, 275 or 250, something like that. I will go ahead and link this one too. Um, you can see this one, it says it is just about 33 and a half inches by about 21 and a half inches. So that is huge. If you go by centimeters, you can see it's 90 centimeters by 60. So if we think of our diamond paintings, yeah, a 60 by 90 diamond painting is huge. <laughs> the one I'm doing right now is a huge waterfall picture and it's a 70 by 90. I can't imagine having a light pad that is almost that size. Wow. <laughs> but hence the expense um, of an A1. I'm sure I will never have one of those, nor do I need it. Um, this is going to be great, plenty. Can't wait to try it out. So there you have it. We have the A1, which is this here. We have the A2. We have, the, oh, I'm still zoomed in. I'm sorry. So we have the A1. We have this A2. We have the A3. We have the A4. And then we have the itty bitty little baby A5. So let's take a look at the sizes and we'll see how fast they go up. 
never mind my chicken scratching here. <laughs> so the little baby, again, is eight and a quarter by six. The A4, 12 by nine and a half. And again, this is just the lit area. It's not the total size. The A3, we're getting up there, is 16 and a half by 11 and three quarter inch. The A2, which is my biggest one now, 23 and a half by 17 inches. And then this big monger, the A1, look how much bigger it is than mine that I have, you know, my big one. 33 and a half by 21 and a half. So it's like 10 inches wider than mine, my A2. That's something. And it's three and a half inches taller. So yeah, that's that is a huge, huge light pad. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought it would be interesting to see all the different size light pads. And if you use one, um, let me know kind of what size you guys, you know, that you're comfortable with using. Would you like to try a larger size? I know lots of you that diamond paint don't even use a light pad. I myself, I really find them helpful. Could I do a lot of my diamond paintings without a light pad? Yeah. I just find that it makes it faster for me, especially in the dark areas or if the symbols aren't real super crisp and clear. I just find the light pads do help me. So I do always, always use my light pads. So I hope you found this interesting. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you found it useful, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.